So let us discuss this case, right? So we have a case, 70 year old woman presented to emergency in coma state. So this is a question about evaluating coma in the emergency or in the ICU. So in this particular case, we have some findings. Patient had carcinoma based in the past. Patient is now on ventilator. No sedation, hemodynamically stable. Neurological examination, what can be done is normal, right? Toxic screen is normal. TLC is a little bit high with 80% neutrophils and 5% band cells. ABG is okay, create is 1.5. Non contrast CT and CT angio brain and eggs, they are normal. Right, what are the next best step? So, how to approach coma? So, there is a very beautiful acronym is there for coma, it's called vitamins. So the V stands for vascular, right? Like strokes, ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke. I stands for infection, meningitis, encephalitis, even systemic infection can cause encephalopathy. Then we have T for trauma that can produce traumatic brain injury and coma. A for autoimmune diseases, especially patient if she is a woman and suffering from SLA from a long time, they can have lupus encephalitis. Then we have metabolic, metabolic, we have very large varieties of regions starting from hyperglycemia, sorry, hypoglycemia, even hyperglycemic commas, hepatic encephalopathy sodium increased too much or decreased too much, calcium problem, urea, systemic infection. Okay. Okay. So then we have I, I stands for ingestion or withdrawal, especially benzodiazepine withdrawal and alcohol withdrawal. And any toxic ingestion in overdose can produce coma. And then we have neoplasm that can metastasize to the brain or primary in the brain then that can produce coma. And S stands for seizures. Seizure can produce coma, the postural state, patient can may be very drowsy and capable, but they can comatose. Also, there is pseudo seizure, some patient, psychiatric patient may fake it. Seizure can itself produce coma and all the above things, they can also induce seizure in the patient, right? So now let us discuss what happened in our patient, right? In our patient, we have done one NCCT brain. So NCCT brain is normal, so that means stroke is ruled out. Of course, there are some strokes, they may be early in evolution and CT may not pick it up. So MRA is definitely in the pipeline for this patient to, to be done next. Second thing is infection. Count is high in our case. So TLC, sorry, TLC is high, but this can be due to SARS. Any kind of stress, any kind of stress can produce a SARS, causing increase in TLC. But definitely, we have to rule out CNS infection in this patient. So cultures and CSF studies would be done in this patient in near future. Third is trauma. Trauma and autoimmune encephalitis, both of these things, there's, they will be evident from their history. A patient who is having trauma or autoimmune disease, so both of these in this case are ruled out. So, so trauma and autoimmune disease ruled out, right, because there is no history. Then we have metabolic. So metabolic requires a lot of investigation. So in our case, ABG is normal. So ABG is normal means there is no acidosis, there is no lactic acidosis. Even ABG can show you a sodium, calcium. So likely that patient is not having any metabolic problem. Creatinine is, creatinine is a little bit high. So we have to check for the urea level is how much. And there is no history of CLD, so hepatic encephalopathy is unlikely in our case, right? And of course, in every patient, when it comes to emergency, you have to check for sugar. So maybe they have checked in emergency, this is the first thing they have to do. So it is normal that there is no hypoglycemia also. Then we have ingestion, right? Ingestion. 
drug injection or withdrawal tox screen so the tox screen is negative that means there is no toxic ingestion about withdrawal we have to take history and in this case it may not be that suggestive right so there is no addiction history then n for neoplasm so patient is definitely in this case is having a ca breast but because the ct angio is normal that means contrast angio is normal that means there is no metastasis there is no space occupying lesion in the brain right so this also has been ruled out now seizure can be a probability but most of us we indulge ourselves in diagnosing seizure when we see a tonic clonic jerky movements in the patient rubbing eyeballs like all these things but there can be seizure without having all these things they are called the non convulsive status epileptic there has been studies done in which it has been found out there is that at least 8% of patients who presented to the ear with coma they are found to be having non convulsive status epilepticus right so in this particular case that we are discussing definitely we have to do an mri definitely we have to do cultures right but if the patient is seizing inside which is not evident outside that means the brain is being fried so we have to stop this so that is definite treatment for non convulsive status so a very simple test that is called eeg in the bed side can diagnose ncs and you can give definitive medicine to stop it and this will improve neuro recovery so very simple bedside test is called eeg you can do that can diagnose the non convulsive status and you can def you can give definitive medicines like benzodiazepines and other anesthetic agents and stop it and that will aid in neuro recovery of the patient of course we have to do mri and csa studies in this patient but the thing that should take precedence over all other things that is the eeg right so in this case we have to do an eeg next to rule out any non convulsive status if it is there then you have to treat it immediately if it is not there we have to go ahead with doing mri or cultures and start antibiotics right so thank you very much so the answer will be e e g thank you